Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about 6 things every computer science student or a computer science engineer must know that will help them complete their graduation. And if you are someone who wants to learn about data science, programming and engineering, then this channel is for you and consider subscribing. So let's get into the video. Alright, so let's get into the video. So the very first thing that you are going to learn in your computer science field or something that you are going to face in, in your entire three years or four years of graduation is the programming language. So what actually is programming language? So you can say programming language it is a formal language which actually consists of a set of instruction that allows you to get a certain or a specific output. So when I say that what we actually mean is using the programming languages you can build application. Now that application can be as simple as to go ahead and print a statement on the screen or it may be a calculator application or it may be an entire end-to-end -end application consisting of CRMs and ERPs or maybe Facebook or, or Twitter too. So these all are the applications that you see over there. These are actually uh, built using the programming languages. Now depending upon what you actually want to build and what is your interest and what technologies you are using, there are many different programming language. In your graduation, what you are actually going to learn is C, C++, Java and these days Python too. Now if your college is great, they may even teach you machine learning and, and lot of stuff related to Python. Um, that is TensorFlow, Keras and all that stuff. But remember, you are all three years of OEF graduation, you are definitely going to learn programming language. And I would definitely suggest to you that if you are going to learn programming language, start from very basic that is C programming language and make sure you move very soon to OOPS concept that should help you understand most of programming languages. The concept they use it is OOPS and then go ahead and start building application. So the very first thing that you are going to witness in your engineering or in your computer science field is the programming language. Now let's move to the second topic that you are definitely going to learn in your computer science field and that is algorithms. Now what is algorithm? Sounds like a pretty much mathematical calculation stuff. This is actually very much related to mathematical calculations. This is actually a way on how you go ahead and solve a particular problem. Remember, programming is nothing but a lot related to mathematics and a lot related to logics. So a logic is just like you have to go ahead, you are given a problem, you need to go ahead and solve it. So using algorithms you are given, now algorithms are actually a certain set of statements, right? And these are very finite. For example, an algorithm may be, now if you understand programming language, let's say suppose we have an array, right? So to insert a new value inside an array, what is the best possible way to do it, right? The, the five or six different steps that you must follow to go ahead and insert a value inside an array, that is an algorithm. Now there are different type of algorithms, there are merge sort algorithms, there are bubble sort, there are insertion, and there's a lot more. I would definitely suggest to, while you are as uh, this algorithm may be only uh, be taught in just one semester of your computer science education but definitely keep in touch with these algorithms because they are very very important and if you want to go ahead and get, get a job or you are sitting in an interview, algorithms are definitely going to be asked in your interviews. That brings us to our third topic and that is compilers. People are not going to talk a lot about compilers in your, in your graduation or in your computer science but it is very very important. So what is actually compiler? Now when you go ahead and write for example a C language code that is printf, right? Or maybe a very simple language code or a simple uh, program, you are writing the code that you can understand, right? So there is a printf command you understand, you need to give printf, there is an if statement. So these are the things that you understand but the computer doesn't understand it. So the compilers are, are programs that actually convert this high level, level language into a low level or a target language. So your high level language is your C programming language and your target uh, programming language is something that your computer understands. So uh, for one of the example for compilers is Roslyn. This is a compiler used by C sharp to convert your C sharp programming language into something that your computers can understand. Uh, definitely you should go ahead and understand the uh, some of the architecture of compilers and how what are some of the symbols and all that. Um, not something as I say uh, your college would go ahead and teach you but something uh, you should have a decent knowledge when you go ahead and tell that you are computer science students. 
Now let's move to the fourth topic and that is networking. Uh, so networking and I actually mean, I mean network systems. Now consider that you have four computers next to you and you want to go ahead and connect them, right? So that connecting of the system so that uh, computers can interact with each other and share data, that is actually your network systems. One of the very simple example, if I take it from your high school is your LAN, MAN and WAN, right? This is the kind of network you define depending upon the size of the network, right? But apart from that, we also have different devices like routers, switches, then we have uh, network chips, then we have uh, network cables like RJ45, like the Ethernet cables, right? So these are the things that you learn inside the networking. Uh, if you come from a decent college, I definitely believe they are going to teach you networking maybe like uh, one semester. But uh, remember, uh, networking is something that is that may not involve much of programming. They do, but not a lot. Not something like OOPS concepts or maybe not like an MVC architecture. So de definitely you will see that while you graduate, some of your friends may move into more like software development where some of your friends may move into networking. If you are someone who likes to work with all these hardware, routers, switches, and it really fascinates you com connecting two different computers and sharing the data, then definitely go ahead and try to move into your networking. And a couple of certifications that uh, what people usually do is CCNA and I think CCNP, uh, pretty standard certification in the field of networking. So you definitely want to go ahead and check that out too. All right, now let's move to the fifth topic that is theory of computation. Now, this is a subject that is pure theoretical. You're not going to go ahead and quote something, but it is very, very important subject and, and something that you must learn. The reason I say it is important because in this subject, you actually understand how a function or a problem is solved in your particular program. Or I can also say this, uh, this actually teaches you on how a process is completed from A to B in the most efficient way. Now, to complete a uh, now to complete a to solve a problem right there may be many solutions but what is the best solution so that it takes less time right it doesn't use as much of the memory and, and it is also safe right this is something that you are going to learn in the field of theory of automata and there, there, there are some concepts like symbols alphabets characters something that you are going to learn in very depth in the field of computer science and uh, if you come from uh, not if you're not moving into engineering i think this is taught basically in the field of engineering and not just simple computer science but even if you are a computer science student you definitely want to go ahead and learn from uh, from different resources and that brings us to the uh, sixth topic that is microcontrollers now when you hear the term microcontroller you might feel like hey this is an electronic subject why are we studying remember uh, microprocessors microcontrollers electronics these are very much related to computer science right because at the end of the day, your computer is an electronic machine that performs some of the computation. So in your graduation, you are going to learn some of the processes like 8085, 8086, uh, some of those black uh, long bars that you see, you're also going to study their pin numbers, uh, their, their pin diagram, their schematics, uh, something that is related to more like electronic stuff, but it will definitely help you to understand on how the processes are made and how actually the computation is done. Now that was all the six points that we discussed that you should know if you are call yourself a computer science student, no matter you're a fresher or you are graduating, these are for six things that should be on your tips. But I have one, one last tip that you should also learn is the databases, very important. Now what is the database? The examples of database are MySQL, Firebase, MongoDB and, and, and lot more. Right, so what is a database? This is, this is actually a, uh, you can see a program that stores your data. So the moment you go ahead and log in to your Gmail, right, all your emails, all your email ID and password, they are stored somewhere by the Google, right? So that is called database. When you go ahead and upload a picture on Instagram, right, so the Instagram has the database where they actually store your data. Just the way you have hard disk in your uh, in your systems, there's a hard disk with Facebook or, or Instagram where they have a program called database which actually manages all this data. So that was one uh, extra tip you can say that you should definitely go and, and learn if you are moving into the field of computer science or if you are a computer science student. And that is it all this video. Thank you so much for watching till here. Uh, my name is Stephen Simon. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my 
channel and i'll see you in the next video until then take good care of yourself and see you soon